I'm Proudlock. And I'm Emma Lou. And welcome to... Frog... Crib... To... Casa! <laughs> okay, guys. Wow. This has been a long time coming. Yes. Firstly, we just want to apologise. No, yes, we do. But also, it's taken a while. My hat is tired. It's taken a while, but, you know, I feel like hopefully for you guys it's going to be worth the wait. Yes, I think it will be. It has been probably, no, it definitely has been the longest journey that we have had. It's been the longest. It's probably been the most stressful year of our lives. But it's yes. been... <laughs> it's... But... But it's been amazing. We've it, loved every minute, haven't we? We have absolutely loved it. And we're now finally we're in for finished Christmas. and ready for Christmas. Ding dong. Okay, Ems, have you got anything to say to the people before we begin the final tour? Yes. Um, we just want to say thank you for coming back, for being patient with us. And um, we hope you love it. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoy what we've done. Big time. With our heart and soul and our blood and our sweat and tears. 100% guys. We love you. Enjoy. Yes. What's happening, cats? Huh? Come in. Get out of the cold. Get in here. Come Get on. into the casa. Come on. <laughs> guys, you're in. Welcome to our beautiful, fantastic home. We call it the casa, and this, my friends, is a tour. Ems, where are we right now? So welcome to our beautiful, fantastic living room where we snuggle. Put this puppy up last week. This yeah. is our first Christmas in the pad. Well, actually it's our second. First proper Christmas. No, we were in Scotland for Christmas last time. No, we, we owned the house this time last year, but we didn't live here. Remember we had a, our Christmas tree was actually a welly boot. Last uh, year. Okay, this is our first proper <laughs> Christmas in the pad. All of this is new. Marble we put in, but all of the shelving units, this, which is actually a cupboard. So we got this from Loaf. It oh. was quite expensive, but it's very comfy and it's worth it, I think. This is great. This is the kind of place where you can come, relax, you can read. Read a book, have a just, cup of tea. Yeah, have a bit of downtime. Maybe a cake. Have a little bit of cake. I quite like a cake. It's just... So yeah, I just reflect it back. M's mainly tucks into all this good stuff down here. Yeah, that's why I said actually one of my favourite pastimes, if I'm really honest. So we have a crab bell over there, so when you're kicking back watching TV, I'm just gonna... and let's say maybe myself or Ems in the kitchen, you need something, hit it, baby. There you have it. That's the crab cocktail effect. Rouge, baby. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We both are, but Em's especially big on lighting. I'm obsessed with lighting. She likes very obsessed. moody, dark lighting. At the moment, we've lit it up a bit more just so you guys can see us. Well, you, it's usually pitch black in here, and yeah. Pearl wears glasses, so sometimes if he's not got his glasses, he can't see a thing. This, this happens a lot, basically. Um, <laughs> it's pitch black in here, and I have no idea where my glasses are, so I cruise around most of, the, most of my days just completely blind, which is great. <laughs> So I'm actually enjoying this, this moment where the lights are on and I can actually see Ems. I can see my glasses because I've got them on. It's really nice. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. So that's pretty much our living room. So yeah, this is just a kickback, chat, watch TV, maybe do a little bit of reading, mm. have some drinks, yeah. and just get cozy. Okay, living room done. Now let's go into Ems's favorite room. My favorite room, come into the kitchen. Come into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't think you guys have seen the finished product and I don't even think you've seen the marble. I feel yeah. like the marble wasn't in when we last filmed here. Ems, talk them through your favorite room. So when we were designing this with Terence Ball, we weren't really sure what sort of way to put the island. Mm -hmm. And we were gonna actually do it that way, um, but it's perfect as it is. This marble right here is so beautiful and such a feature, but wow, is it tough to look after. When Ems is up in here, she's cooking, she's got the gravy, she's got the red <laughs> wine, she's dancing, she's boogieing, she's spilling. All will come home and like this. You say hi, hi Ems, nice to see you, hi. But then he'll go from no, here, no. like a crab. No, no what well, I'll do is I'll go from here. Round. These puppies right here. Oh. Punch. Mm. Such and actually, a nice feature. All of the gold features that you probably see everywhere in the mm -hmm. house are all bust from punch. Okay, so the pantry's probably not looking that tidy at the moment. Let me just peek. Have a little peek, bub. Do you know what we do have? What? We've got some willies. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, that stuff's great. This is my, um, yeah, this is my baby. I absolutely love this cooker. It is um, a cuisine master, and it has three ovens, a grill, and a hot plate, and five hobs. Mm -hmm. Suck on that. Suck on that! <laughs> wow, that's aggressive, but yeah. She is very sexy, this one. <laughs> this is our kitchen table. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we can kind of fit maybe three, four, eight. three, yeah. Seven or eight, seven or eight people around here. I also love this bench. This bench is actually amazing. It's so comfy. I mean, you know, obviously in terms of the size, it's perfect. And we got this puppy from next home. We did. Amazing. An actual, it was a little steal, wasn't it? To all, mm -hmm. what's your favorite? I mean, aside from the floor and the marble, I think it's gotta be our the baby double fridge. door fridge. I've always dreamed of one of these bad boys. I know, it's so cool, isn't it? It's almost like I want music when you open it. It's like, oh. I can always linger behind you and sing. Yeah, that would be awesome. Ready? Hey, it? baby, one, two, three. Oh. Wow. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's our kitchen. Yep, that's our kitchen. Our favorite, so, my favorite room anyway. From Ems' favorite room, we should probably turn into my favorite room. Yeah. Should we go downstairs? Lead the, the way. Cinema? Come on. Huge, huge shout out to my boy Tom Banks, who set this all up, put in the screen, the projector. Got the surround sound. We've got the snow leopard carpet, which we somehow managed to salvage. Because this puppy at one point was just completely underwater. This is what I've also always wanted. My own tiled yeah baby floor. So every time you come in, you take a pee, you just go, yeah baby. That's it. When I'm having a day off or on the weekends, I get the boys around, kick back, watch some movies. Ems is upstairs with the girls, drinking wine and chatting goss, all that good stuff. And we just watch movies back to back, all day, every day. When the movie comes on in here and we close those <laughs> curtains, <laughs> the bass. So this is the spare room whenever we have people coming over to stay. And similar to the cinema room, you may come up here thinking, oh, this is you know, a cool wall, nice, you know, continuing the panelling downstairs. But baby. Lean it. Oh, into the cabin. Woohoo! She had the amazing idea before the door to this room was here and this was like a sort of uh, family bathroom for the house. Mm -hmm. So we closed it all off and made it more of a suite. 
So as you can see in the ceiling, all the reclaimed wood, which gives that sort of cabin vibe, right? Yeah. This green as well. I just love the colour in here. It's very snuggly. Super snuggly. This chest of drawers was actually my dad's. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we love it. We and love it, it. It ties in really nice with the pad. And then also, you know, if you're coming round, jewellery. Jewellery sorted. Yeah, got all a nice stand here leave. of some Serge jewellery. So if you want to just, you know, finish the look. Help yourself. Fragrance as well, if you want to smell good. It's all about smelling good, feeling good, looking good. And make love good. The green continuation. This again, same guy who did the, um, the wall downstairs. So the shower and the toilet and the radiator and the sink, we got from Victoria Plum, I mm -hmm. think. Yes, we which did. Which actually um, is really reasonably priced. You, you know, this is mirroring the kind of crittle throughout the house, but this is a cheaper option. Yeah, we actually couldn't find, so this measurement, because we created this almost as like a wet room, mm -hmm. we couldn't find a screen that was this size anywhere. Um, until we found this on eBay and it's literally just a piece of glass with black tape on it. Very sneaky. And it costs about a hundred quid. <laughs> um, we'll put the link below. I, we don't have a link because we bought it. It's on eBay. It's on we eBay. won't put a link below. <laughs> so, check it out on eBay. <laughs> Let's go. So the rest of the house is obviously quite dark, moody. Mm. But as you come into our bedroom, the light this is super important for us. Come, come. Do you know my favourite thing about this room is that there's not actually a lot of stuff in here. Behind here. This is M's and I's. First... Campaign together. Yeah, first campaign we ever did together. But, I mean, look at this hair. It's just like perfectly, perfectly breezy. Perfectly perfect. Such a strong feature. Yeah, this is from uh, Mural's wallpaper. It's three sheets of wall... Uh, actually, it's four. Four sheets of wallpaper, sorry. So this is walk-in wardrobe, hers and his. Yep. Ems is actually looking quite light up top there. So I was like that. Not, I've never seen it look so empty up Last there. week I cleared out six bin bags for the British Heart Foundation. Boom, good work baby. Thank you. We've been good at that recently. We've been trying to make sure that we do some clear outs. All right, come into our own suite. G designed this room based on my engagement ring. So everything is white, black and green. And yeah, I just really like it in here. We've got a shower behind, behind the door. The taps are from Vado. These are from uh, the Conran shop. Mirrors we had are made from the same place that did the mirrors up around the house. So this is our um, shower, which is great because it's absolutely huge. The shower door is from Drench. And then our shower, which I absolutely love. It's like a big rain, um, rain, what would you call this? Like a waterfall shower? It's really big and it is from Vado. I also just love this view when you come out of the shower and you're just like, it's amazing. It's like we, when we were doing um, designing art, I basically wanted to replicate Carrie from Sex and the City's bedroom. For those of you who are also Sex and City fans, you know what I mean. All right, now we're gonna head up to the bathroom. This is glorious. Yeah. The bath. As you can see, the dark vibe, similar to downstairs, super cozy. Yeah, I mean, we've, all our previous pads, we've never had a bath. Um, so, you know, we wanted to make a real feature of this room, make it very dark, moody, relaxing. Usually you get, you know, really bring down the lights, have a candle lit, get the bubbles going, and just really switch off. So we kept the bath and the toilet and the sink and just gave all a good scrub mm -hmm. and added this cladding to the outside of the bath and then these little studs which were super cheap. 
and that's the bathroom. And then finally, the final, final room is Ems's study. You can peek. You can peek, but it's a little bit incomplete. Yeah, sadly. <laughs> so this is my office slash presents for Christmas storage room slash room that coats live in. Meanwhile, cops. Central Organization of Police Specialists. And um, it's a bit unorganised and a bit of a mess just now. Otherwise I would give you a full whip around, but you'll have to wait. <laughs> so cats, that is... That's it. That's tall complete. That's our home. <laughs> that was our home. That this is our home. Was and is our home. We just love it and we hope that you have loved it as well. Yeah, we hope you guys love it. We did it, baby. We did it. Woo! Oh! What a journey! There it was. The final tour. What did you think? Huh? What did you think? I loved it. What do you think of our house? Tell me in five words. One, two, three, go. I love <laughs> the casa a lot. What did you guys think? Um, we Do you know what? We've been so excited um, to share this tour with you guys. And I think part of the reason why we've held off for so long is because we wanted it to be perfect. And also, while we're here and we're kind of doing a bit of an outro to the end of Crib to Casa, which is a sad moment, it isn't is it? It's very sad. It's been, a, it's been a whirlwind, tell you that right now. And just another thank you to all you guys watching. Yeah, thank you for the and, bottom of our heart, and, of our hearts. And so. who've been watching since day one, because we do this because of you guys. Um, and the fact that you've shown interest and you've enjoyed the journey means everything. Um, because if you weren't watching... Then no one would be watching. Then we wouldn't be doing this. So thank you so much. And bring on 2020. And actually, Ems and I have a really exciting project that's going to be coming. So stay tuned. <laughs> All Don't stop to, watching. All likes to talk. Don't stop watching. We love you guys. Have a merry, merry... Merry Christmas! Have a merry Christmas. Yeah, baby. Yay!